and cheerful makes me happy. How tall are you? Five nine. What's your favorite smell? Mmm. Amber. What's your least favorite smell? Coffee. I'm not a coffee person. It's very strange. It turns me off. What's your favorite food? Seafood. Crab, shrimp, oysters. I don't know. I love food. <laughs> I don't really care for the taste of beets. Um, curry? I don't like curry. <laughs> Miller Lite? <laughs> What's your least favorite beverage? Coffee. The sound of other people brushing their teeth. It just does something to me. It gives me chills. Birds? Bird calls. I like bird calls. Like morning birds or? Just, you know, all throughout the day. Mockingbirds. I love mockingbirds. What was the last lie that you told? Ew, Saturday, I, um, I fibbed about something. I told a friend of mine because he can't go to a concert with me that I was going alone. And I'm actually going with another good friend of mine. And I knew that this friend would be jealous. Dumbo. Dumbo, really? All of my life. I have a Dumbo tattoo on my foot. I love Dumbo. <laughs> Are you clean or messy? Clean. Almost to a fault. I just, I'm constantly cleaning. If I see like a speck, like that right there on the floor, if that was my house, it would drive me absolutely crazy. Um, I think I might have a little bit of OCD tendencies. Like I have to have all my cabinets shut. A friend of mine used to come in and move random things around the house. And like I can go in the room and like without even looking around kind of just like, or thinking about it, you know, scan the room, and like I knew it was out of place and I had to have it back in its place. Do you like your handwriting? Sometimes. Sometimes it can be really sloppy. Um, I'm a very nervous person, so I shake a lot. When I have a steady hand, I do like my handwriting. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Do you have any secret talents? No. That didn't seem odd. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe one, but it wouldn't be appropriate to discuss it. Have you ever been in a fight? Mm -hmm. Yes. A boy. A girl and I fighting over a boy. She liked this guy, Chris. I don't know if I should have said his name. I'll bleep out okay. the Okay, but she liked him, and he was older than both of us, maybe in 10th grade. And, um, the school that I went through to was, like, pre-K through 12th grade. In different buildings, but it was, like, all connected, you know what I mean? And so we all rode the same bus. And I was sitting on his lap in the bus and she got upset and slapped me. And that's what started it. At the time, no. Um, I guess not. Men aren't worth fighting over. That's something. I was a child, yeah. That kindness is extremely important and that you shouldn't judge anybody because you never know what someone is going through or what they've been through to make them the person that they are. And that you learn something new every day. Yes. Just life lessons. My mother, my sister, and I have like little oddities. Um, like when, when I was um, a teenager and you know, or no, probably in my early 20s and I date around and then my father passed away and my mom went through like, you know, about a year of dating different guys. My sister said that she was tired of trying to learn their names. So she was just going to call everybody Bob. And so there was like a couple years where we used to say like my sister's name, Bob, me, Bob, mom, Bob, you know, and everybody else was just Bob. So that was silly, but. 
What do you think the most important quality in a friendship is? Honesty. I know, no, that's so horrible because I feel so bad about Saturday. <laughs> my father. Think about my father every night when, before I go to sleep. I talk to him every night before I go to sleep. Unless I'm just smashed and then, you know, of course. <laughs> just about life and how much I miss him. Well, I think that's a pretty good way to go to sleep. Um, sorry. Would you like me to stop the cameras for a moment? No. Yeah, I was going to say happy, but I mean, crazy isn't a bad thing. Not crazy like mental, just wild. I guess wild would be a good one. How do you think your friends would describe you? Wild. <laughs> that I am very loyal and very loving. Um, that I'll, if I just completely, truly care about someone, um, that I do anything for them, and I'd always be by their side, or on their side. How do you vent your anger? I don't really. I guess maybe when I'm alone and I'm singing, I hold in a lot of emotions. I don't show anger very well. Until I blow up. And that's always been a problem. Not always, but it's been a problem in the past. And I uh, never know when that time's gonna come either. It just happens. Like something will just flip that switch and it's like, watch out. Is there anything you think could help along the way? Something that you could use? There's some tool that you could use to vent your anger instead of letting it build up like that? Yeah, I used to, um, I used to have a garden. And I used to have a lot of potted plants. And that used to help me a lot. Kind of, you know, just let go of everything. Um, yeah. I meditate sometimes as well. I don't really think about that before. I guess that kind of helps me vent my anger. Just helps me think about everything and kind of, you know, um, put all my thoughts together. Yeah, that makes me sense. What advice would you give to someone whose heart you've broken? <laughs> Time heals all wounds. When you were a kid, did someone sing you a lullaby? <laughs> Would you like for me to sing it for you? I would love for you to sing it for us. Okay. So my mother and my grandmother and my aunts used to sing this old song i believe it's back from maybe the 50s and it goes um K -k -k katie beautiful katie you're the only good, good girl that i adore when the moon shines over the cow shed i'll be waiting by the k -k -k kitchen door you always sing that to me do you believe in luck no i believe you make your own i believe in karma Okay, I'd have to say religion. And how would you describe your struggle with it? Well, I mean, I grew up Lutheran. My mom would take me to church and, you know, through Sunday school and everything, I really believed in um, Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. So, um, as I was growing up and I'd read the Bible, I just couldn't wrap my mind around some of the stories and um, it's just, it's unbelievable to me. I just don't really believe, I don't believe the Bible is, is real. What's the saddest you've ever been? When my father passed away. How did you find your way through that? Family. My sister, my nieces, my nephew, my mom. Um, my mom had a, I lost my father and on um, May 6th and my grandmother on May 13th. So my mother's mother. So my mom had a huge, like a really, really hard time with it. So I guess helping her through her grief and her struggles with it kind of helped me through it as well. 
What do you think your 10-year-old self would think about who you are right now? Um, I'm pretty proud of the woman I am today, so I'm, I'm thinking that my 10-year-old self would be as well. The only thing I would change is profession. I wish I would have gone to finish school. I, I really wanted to um, work for CPS, and I just couldn't handle it anymore. And with my dad being sick and everything, it's just not possible. So anyway, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being a part of the project. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Katie, beautiful Katie, you're the only good, good girl that I adore. When the moon shines over the cow shed, I'll be waiting by the kitchen door. You always sing that to me. <laughs>